separates me as an artist, as a hip hop artist, I don't even feel like I need to say it. I'm like crazy redhead. There's no redhead females out there doing it right now. Um, I also talk about women's rights a lot and I'm not afraid to be outwardly sexual in my lyrics um, because I think true feminist is okay with girls also being sexual, you know? Um, I, in five years, I can't even, I can't think that far ahead. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, so I don't like that question. Um, it would be, I mean, fuck, like, it's already starting with, like, the Emma Watsons and the Cardi B's of the world, but I would love to, um, make women's issues more, uh, well-known to the world and just, I don't know, I want girls to... I want girls to be brave and fucking do what they want to do and find their purpose and choose their purpose over dudes and, you know, I, I don't know. That's how I want to change the world. I want to empower women. Devmo! I got my rap name because my name is Devin Moses. And so I've been called Devmo since I was like in middle school. People just call me Devmo. It was my nickname and then I started rapping and just caught on and that's it. The vibe of a cypher is fucking scary. I mean, it could be scary or it could be cool. At first, you're fucking scared shitless. You wanna like, sometimes I'm like, I don't even wanna do it. But after the, I mean, it depends. If you run through it a few times, after the first time, if people are feeling it and looking at you and vibing and smiling and clapping and shit, then all of a sudden you start loosening up and, and then all of a sudden it's like a community of artists and then it's a great time because you can just be fully weird and crazy and express yourself and everybody around you totally understands that vibe. You know? My goal in music is um, I would love to tour the world doing music because that way I can travel, see the world, and uh, do what I'm most passionate about. Um, and hopefully, you know, be able to sustain myself on music alone financially. I have a lot of shit out. I have a lot of music out. You can go check out all my stuff at www.devmomusic.com. Uh, but I have a new EP coming out and I'm really excited about that. That's gonna be coming out in the new year. Bunch of videos, it's all Hollywood themed. It's called the Hollywood EP. I've lived here now for three years and it's been an experience to say the least. So it's inspired a lot of crazy music. Um, I think it's gonna be six tracks or seven. Check it out. Um, January, February, maybe? Um, I love, 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 love Lord. I'm a big, big Lord fan. Uh, I probably know every word to every single one of her songs ever. Um, that's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like, I don't know, there's so many. I love a lot of female rappers. I love Snow the Product. I love Angel Hayes. I love Nene Scott. I love, uh, who else? Um, I mean, Nikki. Nicki Minaj, honestly, like I know people don't like her, but like when she first came out with like her early mixtapes and like the pink print, like man, I looked up to that girl so much. Cardi B is killing it, and she's all about the femi the feminist thing, which is amazing. Like I'm just any any female who's like killing it in music and is setting a good example for all of us and opening doors for more women. I look up to you, I admire you, keep pushing, I'm coming. <laughs>